Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back to Season 3, Episode 8, I think, of the Bordeaux Crew Mode here. Less than optimal setup, I'm going to be honest. The, uh, my PC's microphone, now it's, like, not working. So I tried using my gaming headset, but that microphone wasn't working on the computer. So, I'm now recording through my phone using the camera roll app. So I have no idea what's going on, to be honest with you. But, um, we'll see how this works. Um, I'm just going to look around the league here on who's doing deals in the winter window. Not much for nonce. Raspadori in, Goodwinson out for Lille. Um, nothing for Montpellier. Calvin Stays, De Rugani, and Rosario out. So big departures for Nice, and it could be another one. Um, Elliot and Rugani in. Jesus, one of the big deals of the window, out to Liverpool. Um, Esri Consa out for Marseille, Kurt Zuma, Calvin Phillips, and someone else in for PSG. Brian Acosta, there as you can see on two screens, left from Bordeaux to RC Lens. Uh, Santa Maria out for Stade Brené. Some big signings for um, Stade de Reims. Um, Monaco spending big to get Tonali. As you can see, not much from us, but not yet. Not yet. I asked for your guys' help. Um, wow, big 115 mil. I asked for your guys' help on who to sign for um, a new center mid. And you guys said, Tiago Nugent. I didn't know this. This might be new. Or maybe I'm just, like, stupid. But I guess once you're, like, halfway done scouting a player, you can see, like, some of their attributes. So that's really nice. We can see Zubimendi. That's the guy I want. Next year, I'm going to go for him, I think. Get him to go alongside Matteo Guendouzi, and I'll probably end up selling Rachic because um, I'll probably get 100 million at least for him. He's been crazy this year. But, um, I mean, the stats speak for themselves 32 million. We're going to go with a low ball offer to start it off because we don't have much money. But if we can pull this off with only 38 mil in the bank, that would be an absolute steal. So let's start it off at 30, 30 mil flat. What do they say? Timothy Pembele, I'm not going to let him go because he will be our right back next year. Um, Hatsuboro, probably sold. He just hasn't been that great. And it's kind of a short-term investment just to get us the Champions League. So we'll try 30 million again. Just see what happens. 31 and a half, a 10% selling clause. Let's take that selling clause down to 5. And I'll up this to 33 mil. Go on, make it happen. This would be an absolute steal, of course, in real life. Marseille spent like 7 mil, something ridiculous like that, to get Guendouzi. Maybe it was 11, I'm not sure. But um, now we just got to make sure we don't mess up the wages here. Because that would be pretty crushing to lose him on deadline day like that. Um, the iconic, no, I'm not going to, well, yeah, the kitchen scene, look at the desserts there. Important squad roll, four-year deal, love that. No release clause, bang, real face, love it. I wonder what would happen if, if you were, like, in some fancy restaurant in France and you just saw these, like, rich people in suits, like, talking about hundreds of thousands of dollars. If you were uh, listening on the conversation. I think he's earning, like, 80, 80k a week at, um, at Arsenal. That was the wrong one. That was 80 million. <laughs> um, let me set this back to zero. I think we'll offer like 60 grand a week maybe and just give him a nice sign on bonus We'll go 65. We'll go 65 and like 400 maybe uh, Three 400 yeah 400 works 400 grand sign on bonus 65 grand a week Matteo Guendouzi Welcome to Bordeaux FC FC Bordeaux Love that, our new defensive midfielders into the squad. Let's check his stats here. Um, first of all, who's going to be the new captain? See, none of these guys have any captain traits, except for Asby, I guess. So I'm between Yassine Adli or Lecomte. I think we'll go with Lecomte. He's a bit more experienced. But Yassine Adli, he's been with us the whole time. We bought him back from AC Milan in real life, which is where he's playing. Right now, he's out on loan at Bordeaux. 81 overall, it's a plus one on Asby. It's actually 
Not as much as I would have liked, but 33 mil. I'll take it. A deal's a deal. Um, Magnello is out. Oh, not a transfer offer. Acosta sold. Um, so that's good. Money I had like 85 potential, I think. I'm going to reject this deal for Onana because we're not going to spend any money. I will look for some pre contract signings, though. Uh, one or two. Not as many as last year. Or this year, I guess. We're going to start some tactics here, though. So we'll have Campos on stay central and get him behind. Ellis will be on stay forward and cut inside because he's kind of like a striker as well. Just driving forward, hitting the angle. He can stay on basic. And they'll have him on free roam, kind of like a. False nine, maybe I don't really know. And we'll have him as a, we'll have them on target man. No, no, we'll do come short. Um, fuck that. I didn't. Okay, you know what? I'm not even gonna talk about that. We keep going. Um, you see, Natalie, those are his stuff. We will. Ratchet on stay back because he's an absolute beast. Um, it's like 90 physical or something. Man mark. I think we'll go with man mark. Well, I guess yeah, man mark will be less risky. And then Guendouzi can stay on balanced attack and stay on the edge of the box for the cross, hit a long shot. Uh, Kakashi, balance attack works, but we'll get the overlapping runs. Um, here you go, overlapping runs. And overlap, love that. Um, <clears throat> yeah, I'm gonna keep it quiet for a sec here and uh, give you this lovely comment. After months of speculation, the deal is finally done and we're just minutes away from seeing his debut. Can he live up to the hype? And good evening to you from the Parc des Princes here in the French capital, Paris, the venue for tonight's action. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and my partner, ready to bring you all the analysis and technical talk, is Stuart Robson. And what we're getting ready to bring you is live action from Liga. It's Paris Saint-Germain, and they face Bordeaux. Well, Derek, we're looking forward to this game. You can't help but notice there are some great matchups all over the pitch, particularly in those central areas. Whichever team wins more of those battles will win the game. So, Neymar, Mbappe, and Messi is the front line in a 4 3 3. Coke, Gino, and Alba, and Fede Valverde make up the midfield. Taglia, Swaglia, Fico, left back, Marquinhos, Sula, and Hakimi, right back, Dalla Ruma. In goal, Calvin Phillips, Ricardo Pereira, Diogo Jota. So, all the Premier League stars on the bench. Kaylor Navas, still the backup goal, a bit unfortunate. But, uh, 30th minute here, the first highlight of the game. I'll try to show you as much as I can. Oh, this was a good game. This game more drives forward. Mbappe here. Just trying to get his ball from Mbappe. He pokes it through to Messi. He's offside. The flag stays down. And Messi on his right foot scores. Not often you see him scoring in Paris, but he's done so against us tonight. We're, we're going to take this to our own little version of VAR here. Because I don't even know who that is that's waiting for the camera. Like, who are you, bro? Um, he, he looked offside to me. We'll, we'll take this one to VAR here. Look at that. Look at that. Who's playing him on there? Is, is he just... Well, his foot is there, but the rest of his body is totally is off sides. Just wait for the uh, wrong button. Wait for him to play the pass. Right there. Uh, a little forward. Gosh, this is so infuriating. <laughs> Trying to get the right spot here. Just barely tapping the trigger. He's, he's off. He's, he's off, man. That's, that, I don't know about that. We trail 1-0 in Paris. Not sure about that call. But it is what it is. You know, the second EA had to be AR to this game. I'm not not playing it because <laughs> that would be so annoying. But um, Albert Ellis, what's the saying? A shell of his former self. That's what he's been this year. So we we will be looking for a new right winger. Actually, I was playing a little bit of Ultimate Team the other day. Well, actually, the other day, the other hour, I was playing it just now. Um, Jonathan Akone could be an option because he would. Oh, the commentary on me is terrible, but it's a beauty from Santi Campos. I completely forgot that happened. I'll be honest, 
A little miscommunication at the back. Quaduzzi, first time pass on the angle, left foot, Santi Campos. It's a beautiful goal. As I was saying, um, Jonathan Akone could be an option for the right wing spot. Good pace, good dribbling. Um, he'd be more of a winger than a striker like Albert Ellis is, left footed. And I've scored like four or five goals where I just cut inside of the top of the box and finish on his left in the far corner. Kind of a Nicolas Pepe kind of goal. Um, so yeah, I'd put him as an option. If he's decent overall, I'd be down to replace Albert Ellis with him because, you know, Albert, Albert Ellis served us well, but um, his time might be up here. So there's a good bit of good bit of pressure there, but PSG somehow escaped from it. Good challenge by Kakashi. No thank you, he says to Lionel Messi. As we'll just try and hold him to a 1-1 scoreline until halftime. Koke's in here. It's a good block by Todibo. One more. Ooh. On his left foot. Should have scored. Missed the target. And it's level 1-all here at halftime. I'm happy with that, but should be 1-0. We should be winning. Just saying. Uh, Calvin Phillips in for a GY Melbourne. At halftime. Imagine nearly intercepts that pass there from Sula. Let me guys know in the comments. Wait, let me guys let me know what you guys think in the comments about Nicholas Sula joining um, Borussia Dortmund. Seems like the ties are turning. It used to be uh, Dortmund to Bayern. Now it seems like it might be uh, the other way around. I'd love to see Dortmund win the title, honestly, because it's kind of Bayern's time to. Uh, to be dethroned at this point. Good ball forward to Guendouzi. Somehow slips through. Adley will look for Kakashi all the way on the other side. Looking into the box here. For Santi Campos, Donnarumma gets our first. Good play by the Italian to come out and grab hold of that ball. It's a good ball to Mbappe. I'm going to be honest, I didn't think he was on sides, but he, he'll hold the ball up here. Waiting for support. Now here's Messi. Got to cover the runs. Still gets it through. Good save by Leconte. Oh, uh, Leconte. Good save on Valverde. The former rivals now linking up in a good play. Messi, Valverde, Barcelona, and Real Madrid. Together at PSG, that seems like the, uh, the story for the next 10 years. So uh, get used to it. Should be lots of fun because we love oil money. Woohoo! Um, Neymar tries to flick that one up and finish. He can't, and Lecomte will come up to claim that one. I'm going to try to restart this quickly out to Hatsabur and get it upfield to Ellis. Once he makes that run, he's gone. He is gone. Look at that. Still going. Albert Ellis. And then what is that? You go back to like season one or season two, he finishes that every single time. But this time, he just drags a wide. Terrible shot. No idea what's happened to him. He's gone up in overall. He was like 76 overall, and he was scoring those every time. Now he's 81. He had 77 potential to come to 81 as a 28-year-old. But I'm not sure what happened. But um, he served as well. But we're definitely going to have to move on from him next year. If we can get 20, 25 mil, I'll be happy. Ooh, almost a perfect through ball played by Valverde. But Tadibo can clean it up. Now here is Neymar. Mbappe again, just trying to let him run at the corner here. It's fine by me. Toribo somehow doesn't get that pass. Now Neymar, it's a good job by Hatsabor, and he slides in there, a crunching tackle. And now we can lead a counterattack. We've got four players running forward. Adley, out wide compass. We try to stop and turn. Taken out by Ricardo Ferreira. It's definitely a soft foul, but definitely a foul nonetheless. Short to Guendouzi. You might have a go from here. Probably not the best idea, though. Inside Dimaggio. Almost that wide. Now we'll have a go on his right foot. Matteo Guendouzi, welcome to Bordeaux. Goal and assist on his debut against the biggest club in France. Not anymore. What a goal. Just nudges off Pereira. And then on his right foot. It's a beautiful finish past Donnarumma. Wow. I also, I've never thought about this now. Um, after what happened with, uh, oh. Here comes Neymar. Slips past one. Oh. Every time we take the lead against PSG, they score like five minutes later. It's ridiculous. How did... Ah. Neymar did well to... He does well to uh, to escape Hatsabor's challenge there. 
and then Tadibu comes sliding in, can't get there, off the hands of Lecomte and off the post. That's about as lucky as it gets. But um, as I was saying, what do you guys think will happen with um? I haven't heard much news about it. Um, with what happened to Mina Raiola? Obviously, I can't remember now if if it, if he actually did pass away. Great challenge by uh, Dahoud. Good save in your post by Donnarumma. But um, have those guys have, have those guys had to get like new agents now? And if so, what will that mean for their contracts? Because uh, we're gonna hit this first time, second time with Ganduzi, big save. But what will that mean with their contracts? Because surely they'll be a little less of an agent fee, you know? Because he was kind of greedy. So I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was honestly I can't remember if he actually passed away or not. But um, if you're still watching the video, go ahead and comment down below what you think. And um, if he didn't actually pass away and I'm just being stupid, then feel free to tell me that as well. Um, or tell me that, if even if I'm right, you just want to call me stupid, that's totally fine as well. Go ball in the box, Messi goes down. No penalty, says the ref, and the final whistle is blown. Wow. That's definitely a penalty. Toribo sliding in and trying to intercept the challenge. He catches Messi on the legs there. But it ends 2-2, so a point, I'll take that. We'll probably sim, uh, I think that's Le Havre and Lille off camera and then we'll play the first uh, leg against Celtic and then possibly play the second leg if we have to episode after that Starbrenne and Lyon are some big games there might play both of those just uh, depending on what happens then after that Monaco's a big game and probably some other conference league games will be uh, placed in there and then Marseille and Nice in the final month that'll be big that'll, uh, that'll do it for the episode so thank you for watching, like and subscribe, uh, join the Discord down below, and I'll see you next time.